Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard. This is episode number 5 of season 7. And we have a Battleground Rewards Pack. We have uh, Ring Domination to finish. And uh, I don't think I will get my pool live, but I will let you guys know who I get. Because once again, I'm getting close to another pool. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about this. A little bit of a disappointment in the battleground, as you guys can see. It's only consolation rewards, but we did obviously we go for the 10,000 points. Unfortunately, someone didn't charge. Um, and by that, we straight away knew we were obviously going to lose, considering well, they were all maxed and uh, they got 15k. So the 10,000 points was the best we could do. We got it. Are we going to get a swarm, though, from this battleground pack? Probably not. Let's have a look. We don't, obviously. Santos Escobar, that's a pro, to be fair. That's not bad. Champa, uh, 400. It's a, it's, a, it's a shame that um, yep, he didn't charge in battleground. Quite, quite upset about that. Maybe a, even a little bit annoyed. But hey, we move. We get a bio pro from that. Unfortunately, it's pretty trash rewards. Um, on the whole, though, because no chance at a swarm. And we're really kind of looking for those swarm cards. Uh, but nonetheless, Santos Escobar... Um, yeah, cheeky little bio pro there, but not too good. Where 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 do bio pros kind of rank here? Yeah, they they come in they come in fairly good. Obviously, they make my road to glory deck stuff like that. But to be totally honest with you guys, by the time road to glory rolls around, I don't really think they will be that much of a use to me anymore. Um, ring domination. Let's quickly show you guys my progress in ring domination. This is where we're currently at. Uh, we got one shard left on Adam Cole. Um, I was what? I think I was working on. I think I played a couple games on the SummerSlam 20 uh, just to see uh, the new like little shard system, trying to see if I could get some resets. What probably I should have done is gone on this one. This is uh, uh, like 16 shards, and that's just 16 resets towards your pool, which are fairly easy. Uh, you go into a game, you know, straight off the bat, you 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 know, you need to play two games, 16 shards. You're guaranteed if you're using um, boosts, obviously, you're you're pretty much guaranteed a shard every other game. Uh, and then when you get to halfway, you're just going to get a shard every game. So it's really good, easy resets for for people who can, uh, you know, go for a lot of cards in RD. But we are currently a shard away from the Adam Cole. I'm going to go ahead and play for the Adam Cole. Uh, probably a little bit later, because I think this evening, as the event has been uh, prolonged, obviously, as you guys can see, due to people downloading updates on iOS and that not working. Thank God I heard about it before and quickly went to turn auto uh, updates off on my phone. Uh, so I never got that, uh, thankfully. <clears throat> but what we have is basically a lot of things have been leaked throughout the, uh, the course of the next couple of weeks to a month in the game. Um, I'm not really going to speak too much about it because we'll try and, you know, it's if you there's everyone else has probably made videos on it or stuff like that. You guys don't need uh, it from me, but if you do, um, do let me know and I can I can always let you guys know the new cards. But yeah, thanks for watching this little part, guys. I will be back though with some more rewards uh, and uh, hopefully with the RD finished and I can show you guys Adam Cole leveled up and uh, look at his stats. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video. We've got a global pattern that's just released 27 minutes ago. I have got the first one here for you guys. This is what it looks like. Global pattern complete. It's meant to be a C for Cyber Monday. It doesn't look particularly that good. I would have done it a little bit differently, but that's the C. Uh, get rid of the nine pieces in the middle and then all the corner pieces and then this one here on the right. Um, and that's the global pattern. The solo pattern, do I have? Not yet, but it's going to be an M, guys. Some form of an M. I will obviously show it throughout this video. And then this video will be uploaded just after uh, I get the uh, last pattern. And uh, this uh, will also be a little teaser, guys, for the video coming probably Wednesday, which will be my behemoth freebie. Um, which I'm about to show you why. Um, so over the last couple of days, I got my Swarm Fusion, which I didn't actually show on YouTube, uh, on for a video on YouTube, which I should have, but I didn't. I just wanted to get another one started as soon as possible, and it wasn't at a time I really was able to record. Uh, and got really lucky, got Aaliyah, which is the best female I've got, which put me up into Swarm++. Plus Plus. 
Um, and then Adam Cole, sorry, I think Aaliyah just barely did. And then I don't know. And then I think Adam Cole put us uh, nicely in onto the plus. Um, and then another thing I didn't decide to do for a video, which sucks because again, got quite lucky, um, was the fusion where I got another gobbledygooker. Finally, I was really starting to think that we were going to go this whole event without a, uh, a pro, either Otis or gobbledygooker. But we do, we got a Gooka, and uh, as you guys can see, he is completely ready to be proed, and we'll get him in here. And if that doesn't put me into Behemoth, I will F1 Danny Birch, and that, without a shadow of a doubt, will put me into Behemoth here. All right, guys, finally, here we go with the M. I've gotten the draft board reset a couple times doing this. Hopefully, we're all good now. We are. There we go, guys. That is the personal pattern. Um, yeah, let's see what we get from, uh, from the, oh, oh, <laughs> okay, they're, they're, they're so generous, guys, they are so generous with, uh, with their patterns these last couple of days, man, really, okay, well, we'll take it, it was the wrong one, I didn't need that, I need rolling pins now, but whatever, yeah, there we go, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, uh, in the next video, I'll have a behemoth freebie, I will do two ticket packs in behemoth tier, see if that changes anything, um, we've got TRD going, so we'll probably get that finished by the time the next video comes around. Uh, PvP, doing really well guys, about to hit 40,000 points for the first time in my life in PvP. This will be my record guys, I don't think I've missed any bouts of PvP uh, when I've been awake. Obviously sleeping I have, but um, yeah, doing really well. Um, still though, not 100% sure to make first in my league, let me quickly show you where where we are at in the league. There you guys can see, uh, I've got a couple thousand points lead, but it is, it's neck and neck once again with, with my boy Destin, uh, yeah, keeping me on track. And in the team, I think I'm third. So uh, yeah, again, not even, not even top there. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. This is how we're doing, doing really well. I'm really happy we made it. Not only Behemoth for our D to get Adam Cole, um, here he is, by the way, I said I was show him. There's Adam Cole with um, equipment on, obviously, with momentum on. Uh, nice, nice stats, though. Um, yeah, it looks good. And yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Got really lucky with Aaliyah. Gobbledygooker is going to come in <laughs> really nice. And uh, obviously, Andrade in the Heroic would have been a pro because I got him as a pull. But as you guys know, by now, if you don't, the Heroic is unplayable. Uh, you cannot get obtain these cards. So we'll see. We'll wait and see what they say about that. Thanks for watching, guys. Until the next one, peace.